megabytes. Normally the pictures from this phone, they are under 10 megabytes, but because it's in a highest resolution option, that's how, how, how much space it takes. This one is 37 megapixels and it's 7.4 megabytes, which is not bad actually, this is the 50 megapixel mode. So I would really use this. And that's the 12, 12 megapixel mode and it shows actually nine megapixels. I believe this is because of the sensor crop. So if I was using the full, full image, full sensor Im image sensor, full area of the image sensor, then it would be the full 200 and it would be, maybe I should change it. When you're taking pictures with your Samsung phone and you know the subject is important, and especially when there is a, like you're traveling somewhere and there is your outside, you have a lot of good light, you could use a 200 megapixel mode. You notice that 1X is the only camera lens option. There is no wide lens, there is no ultra, ultra wide, there is no ultra wide, there is no zoom lens, only the wide, the standard lens, which is the usually the best camera, the best lens on most phones is the, the normal camera, the wide, how they call it. And that's how, that's how you can rely on taking the best pictures using the main camera. And if you need to zoom in, you can um, simply get closer to your subject. I don't really take pictures to show you much of the composition or anything. This is just about the quality of the photo. You will take pictures of everything that you want to. And usually outside in the good light, I think 50 megapixel is actually a good trade-off between the processing power needed for the 200 megapixels, the file sizes and the quality. You get really the best quality, in my opinion, from the 50 megapixel mode and the files are not too large. If you try to enable the motion photo, it's not working in 50 and 200 megapixels because it's extra processing needed. So that's how it's usually like this. Whenever you have the phones with extra features, most of these extra features, they will only work in the simple mode, the most basic mode. You can also use the focus enhancing option, which is the macro option. So you can take pictures of close up subjects with a better, better, clearer picture. I don't really like the over sharpening that Samsung is doing with uh, photos. It's really, uh, many times it's uh, a little bit distracting. And that's for me, that's a good reason to use the 50 megapixel mode. I wish they had the motion photo enabled in 50 megapixels because like that, it would be always in that mode. If you want to zoom in on a subject and to use the zoom photo or the ultra wide, then you have to use the 12 megapixel mode. And this is the motion photo option. So it's pretty nice. It makes a small video next to the photo. So you take a picture and you have at the same time a video also. And you can change the main frame of that video. So of that picture, so it's really, it's a nice option to have. But when you enable 50 megapixel modes or 200, the motion photo is disabled by default. Try them all and see which one you prefer. Also, if you have more space, you can also always copy the photos, move the photos to a computer or Mac. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you have better pictures and better videos and more pictures.